addition, the expansion of residential areas causes a customer who are for who are fun of outside the corporate area of a certificate for network quality as it in the case is the case in Bajan Hamlet which is in the subject of this final project proposal therefore network operators expand corporates by aging sector in areas that have not been covered by network radiation from said UNL 605 located in Bajan Hamlet it is so that the area get good internet service based on results. And result of the previous trip test, it showed that there are still issues. The network and optimization is needed. So in the problem formulation, the first is how is in the initial condition in the network in Pattern Hamlet. Second, what are the network issues that occur in Pattern Hamlet, and then. How is the network condition in Button 100 after sector addition? And then how to optimize the network that is having issue using auto software? Five, how is the network condition in Button 100 after optimizing using physical tuning meter? And the last, what are the results of the comparison of network quality before and after optimization using the physical tuning meter? And the scope of problem. The first is the observed network condition came from the site UNL605 in Button Hamlet, Ampel Boyolali. Second, the LTE network used is on the 900 MHC frequency belonging to the operator, the telecom cell operator. Third, optimization simulation using auto software. Four, the optimization method used is physical tuning with azimuth and antenna tilting parameters. And five LTE network parameters observed are PCI, LSRP, and SCNR. And the five, the purpose, the first is knowing the initial condition of the network in button Hamlet. Second, knowing the network issue, the issue that occur in button Hamlet. Third, knowing the condition of the network in button Hamlet after the sector addition. Fourth, explain how to optimize the network using other software. Five, now the network condition in button hamlet after undergoing optimization with the physical tuning method. And the last, explain the result of the comparison of network quality before and after optimization using the physical tuning method. Here's in the basic theory. In the first, this is in the LTE requirement in the left table. In the LTE requirement for the peak data rate is up to 100 Mbps per downlink and uh, 15 Mbps for uplink. The duplex mode is FDD and TDD. Uh, multiple multiple access is FDMF for uplink and FDMF for downlink. Latency is less than five millisecond for user plan and less than 100 millisecond for uh, counter plan. Coverage is about five up to 30 kilometer per cell. Mobility is up to 350 kilometer per hours or even up to 500 kilometer per hours depending on the frequency bands. And this is for the 4G architecture. There are UE or user equipment here for a transcription signal from the NODB. And the NODB is the transceiver base so for uh, indicate the handover point. There are MME, MME for controlling LTE network nodes. And then HSS for saving uh, user data. PCRF is for accounting and charging uh, billing user and as gateway typing gateway is for uh, packet routing defined and defined file and pdn gateway is for controlling and charging and then uh, this is a still basic theory there are the 4g parameters the first is pci or physical cell identity this is for identifying the cell by number and then there are LSRQ, reference signal, requisite quality. This is indicated in the quality for from the UE. The signal is from the NODB. So there are uh, four kinds of value with the category excellent, good, fair, and poor with a different color. And this is LSRB. Uh, reference signal requisite power. This is indicating the UE lever power. There are four kinds of value 
between the category excellent, good, fair, and poor with the different color. And the SCNR or the signal interference to noise ratio, this is indicate the power that you e uh, receive from the A node B that has been that have compared with the noise interference along the path. It's the same. There are four kinds of category: excellent, good, fair, and poor with a different color. And then this is the uh, path loss model that I use in this research. So because this area is suburban, this is a Komora Hata model that I use. This is the formula. And then there are for small area, large area, urban, suburban, and rural. Uh, I, I use uh, 900 MSC frequency, frequency so I use uh, this uh, path loss model. This is the research methodology. Uh, and the flow chart. This is the flow chart. Uh, the first, I start the research and then uh, literature review from the journal and book and many more. And then I determine the area based on uh, my activity in my internship program. So I said to choose this site in Badran. And then I call it data site exiting for my company. I mean, uh, my school, my uh, internship company, and then analyze the site existing result. After that, uh, I do a sector and physical tuning optimization simulation using Atoll. And the result is I will compare with the target parameter value. If the target parameter value was reached, so I can uh, proceed in the next step. But if the target parameter value is not reached, so I have to repeat to in the previous stage. So after the target parameter failure was reached, and then I compare the network condition before and after optimization. And then the reset is done. And then in the right side, there are in the area description. As you can see, this is the peak of the map inside UNL605 in Badran is located in Baden Hamlet. Indian village, Ampel, Buyulari Regency. It is a suburban area. And then this is the research methodology. Uh, the research tool. I use a PHU Smart Beta. So PHU Smart Beta is the software that I use for direct test. And then the log file that I got from direct test, I import to a genetic assistant. In genetic assistant, I will process the log file and then I will export on the map info. In the map info, I plot the log file. Uh, I log the log file by uh, PCI and many more parameters. And then the output, output software is I use to simulate the ad sector and optimization. And optimization. And then this is the current network condition. So from this picture, you can see I use three parameters in this research, PCI, RSRP, and CNR. For the PCI, uh, in the current network condition there are inside UNL605 quadrant, there are three, sec there are three sectors. The first sector is determined by uh, red color, and sector two is yellow color, and sector three is blue color. And then the RSRP condition, as you can see from this picture, uh, depends from the color we can see that the there are 80 89.094% value LSP value that uh, more than minus 100 dBm so this is, is good enough for this for LSP value and then for the SENR we can see that in the result and uh, the SENR value in this area is uh, nine point three two hundred twenty four percent more than zero dBm. So we know that from this picture, uh, it's not good enough. So in this parameter, as an parameter, you have to optimize. And then this is the link budget that I have calculated before. This is there are the transmit transmitter in B. There are the frequency here that I use. Uh, 900 MHz, and then the text power, the S antenna gain, cable loss, 
and ERP, and then they recover you if there are UA, UE noise feature, and then thermal noise, SCNR, pinwheel system, recover sensitivity, interference margin, LX antenna gain, body loss, and MAPL. From this uh, link budget, I can uh, calculate and I got the MAPL value is 139.5 T7 Hertz. Uh, this and in the right side, there are the data set existing. The data set existing from, uh, from UNL605 Badaland, there are two sectors uh, with the different azimuth and different uh, mechanical downtake. And then this is in the project timeline. So for a literature review, I use in the March in for identification of problems and research object in April in April and collecting data set existing it in the last April and uh, beginning May and then compiling reports and calculating link budget in May of June for final project proposal presentation I plan in June and completing in the final pro completing the final project report I plan for June up to ages and the preparing the final project report I plan in uh, beginning in ages. And then this is the reference that I use in this research. There are 13 reference. Okay, that's all of my uh, final project.